Hello engineers. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the key sketch modify tools, including move, trim, copy, extend, rotate, and offset. So as you can see here, I've drawn some basic geometries. We will use the modify tools to manipulate these. So the modify tools are located underneath the sketch tab and the modify panel, which is located just here. So first let's start with the move tool. As you can see, we have a pop-up box so here we need to select the geometries which we wish to move. So in this case, I will select the circle and then we need to select the base point. So I'll click here. Now the base point of a circle would typically be the center point. So I'm gonna select the center point and notice that I can move this circle anywhere in the graphics window. For example, I can either move it here or if I select that again, use the same base point, I can place the circle and snap it onto the end point of this 35 millimeter line like so. I'll give another example here on the rectangle. So here, I'm gonna select the rectangle by drawing a box around it. And then I'll select the base point to be this bottom left corner here. I'm gonna move that to the end point of this line just here, like so. I'll click done. And there we have moved the geometries. We can move any geometry using this tool. And next we have the trim tool. So that's located just at the top here. Let's select that. And now if we move our mouse cursor over an existing piece of geometry, we can see that it becomes a green dashed line. And if we select that, that line will then be trimmed away. So we can click on any lines we like or any of the arcs and they will be trimmed. I'll press Ctrl Z a few times to go back. And then I'll show you another way we can use this tool. So let's select it again. And we we'll hold down the left mouse button any line or geometry that our mouse cursor intersects will become trimmed like so. And next we have the copy tool. So that's located just here. Let's select that. We have a dialog box pop up. So here we need to select the geometries we wish to copy. I'll drag a box around all of this geometry here. I'll then select the base point, which will be the center of the circle. I'll then make a copy here. And then notice that we're still in the copy mode, so we can continue to copy this part indefinitely. To exit, we can right click and press cancel, which will end the copy tool, or we can press continue if we wish to copy anything else. So for now, I will click cancel and I have my three geometries just here. And next we have the extend tool, which is almost the opposite of the trim tool. So let's select the extend tool and now we'll move the mouse cursor over, let's say this arc here, and we can see that we have a preview of the extension of this arc, which becomes here to join these two outer arcs. So let's select that. We can do the same down here, join this arc like so. And we can also do the same on the outer rectangle. So we can actually bring back the missing geometry like this. That's a very simple to use tool. And next we have the rotate tool. So that is positioned just here. Let's select that. We have a dialog box pop up where we need to select the geometry we wish to rotate. I will draw a box around all of this geometry here. And then we need to identify the center point. So let's select that. This is also referred to as the pivot point to which we will rotate all of the geometry we have selected. So I will select this corner here. And then as you can see, we can rotate about that point at any angle we wish. Now we can either use the mouse to control this or we can input a angle into this box here. So I will input a angle of 135 degrees, click apply and then done. We have rotated this part about this pivot point 135 degrees. And last but not least is the offset tool, which is positioned just here. So let's select that. Now, first of all, let's select the circle here and we can choose to offset this at a dimension we want. So I'll input a dimension of five millimeters. So now we have offset this circle here by a dimension of five millimeters. So essentially the wall thickness between these two circles is five millimeter. Let's select the offset tool again and perform the same function on the rectangle so we can make this larger or smaller, however we wish. Again, I'll input five millimeters and press enter. There we have used the offset tool for both the circle and the rectangle. It's a very common and useful tool. And that concludes the move, trim, copy, extend, rotate, and offset tools.
If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section, and I will see you in the next tutorial.